We all have seen images like this. Trafficking in human beings, and not only for the purpose of sexual exploitation, but also for forced labor, illegal trade in human organs, begging, illegal adoptions, is considered one of the most serious crimes worldwide. In legal terms, trafficking is the acquisition of people by improper means such as fraud or deception with the aim of exploiting them. We add that it is a gross violation of human rights, a modern form of slavery and an extremely profitable business for organized crime. The European Union's framework on trafficking in human beings is currently based on one framework decision which aims at a minimum harmonization of national legislation and on one directive on the residence permit issued to third country nationals who are victims of trafficking. Experience has shown that this legal framework is not effective enough and that the European Union has to do more. EPP Group member Edith Bauer has drafted a report on combating trafficking in human beings. The European Parliament, in cooperation with the rapporteur, organized a seminar on combating and preventing trafficking. The aim of the seminar was to explore ways forward together with the relevant institutional and civil society stakeholders. We have to protect the victims and to work more on prevention, said Mrs. Bauer. We need to uh, take more seriously uh, protection of victims because, uh, as Europol said, it is impossible to effectively uh, combat trafficking without help of victims. It's impossible to disclose the, the trafficking gangs without help of victims. Therefore, it is necessary to pay more attention to victims' protection. Uh, there is one, one issue. The other, other strong issue is prevention. Uh, last time when the legislation was adopted, uh, there was no such a strong trafficking inside the European Union. Now we have a strong, uh, strong trends inside European Union trafficking. So uh, these are new phenomena what we should address. Trafficking is an issue for all the member states. It is affecting everybody. Today we also have internal trafficking, trafficking on a national basis. For Steve Harvey, acting head in Europol for the Unit for Organized Crime Networks in Southeast Europe, the legislative framework is good, but what we need is to apprehend those persons responsible for trafficking. Whether you convict them for trafficking or not at the end of the day is, is not vitally important. Convicting them and sentencing them and taking them out of the equation is vitally important. Uh, so the legislation doesn't have to be in place for us to apprehend and convict traffickers in every case for trafficking. So the laws do exist. We have, we have the ability. It's, it's more um, uh, an issue of awareness, uh, uh, being aware of what, what trafficking is, the, the, the complex issues that, that uh, are involved in the investigation of a trafficking case, and understanding that there may be more than one option available in, in, in concluding the investigation. Trafficking is on our doorsteps and it is not an easy crime to investigate. Modern slavery continues to be a challenge for the European Union. The EPP group strongly believes that we have to make the best efforts to eradicate this crime, to guarantee the safety and well-being of men, women and children. It is our common responsibility to create a society free from products and services produced through the exploitation of human beings.